open up. Hold on. There it goes. Hey! Just in time. Also, before we start the game, I have a few disclaimers because tonight's going to be... Sega! Sega! You guys are terrible. <laughs> oh. It had to be done. I'm sorry. Yep. It's tradition around here. We always mess up the Sega intro. Always. Yes. All right. So, my disclaimer for this game. What you're about to watch is completely without 100% going to be a... Not an NC-17, but a rated R cast. And a rated R recording. It is October 1st. The time now is 7.21 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The other portion of my disclaimer is, is, yes, I will be smoking. Yes, this is alcohol. I do not condone either if you are underage and or not of age to either buy or drink. Please don't do so. I do this because it's going to help me relax my fucking nerves. You need all the help you can get on this one. Yep. Nerves? So, what nerves? Having said that, joining me tonight is my esteemed cast of characters and uh, my fellow compatriots in the Alien Universe. I have Dr. Mac Fox. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Madhouse. It's going to be fun. Oh my god, it's been so long since you've said that in my cast. Then we have Queen Top Hat. So great to be getting back into this nonsense. And last but not least, I have my esteemed brother-in-arms, 100% extraordinaire dickbag, Valor B. To be clear, we do not have nukes, knives, or sharp sticks. You don't, I do. And also the aforementioned Sir not appearing in this cast. Yep. We need to drag Ty here one of these yeah, days. Yeah, at some point anyway. we need yeah. to. And then I, myself, am Definitely Matthias Silvers, to. and I will be running this game again on Nightmare Difficulty. Now, Nightmare Difficulty is only available to you if you've beaten it on Hard Difficulty. I played this on release October 7th, 2014. It has been almost exactly four years since I've completed this game. Tonight, I'm going to start this game. By the end of this month, I'm going to attempt to finish it or attempt to finish it before I leave. So... Alien Isolation. You may even be able to get parts up on YouTube within a matter of days. This is going to be an excellent ride. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can't get some stuff up. Uh, uh, I'll see if I can't get some stuff loaded to you uh, on uh, pfft, Friday. All right, here we go. Nightmare. All right, so new difficulty. Nightmare. Nightmare is the ultimate level of difficulty. The greatest test of survival skill. Warning for experienced survival experts only. Survivor Steam Achievement can still be unlocked in Hard or Nightmare. We're not going to be able to do that. Trust me, I've already looked at the achievement. It's freaking terrible. You have to survive for a really freaking long time. So, here we go. Oh, do you really want to start a new game all to save it? Yes. Adjust the slider until the, uh, until the Seekson logo is barely visible against the black background. Uh, I'm going to... What, what logo? Yeah, what logo? I see it just barely. There it is. Yep, just barely. Okay, we'll leave it like that. So that way you guys can at least see it. Okay. Here we go. We are starting with our cutscene. Bring it on. What do you mean you're dead already? Here we go. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. 
I love how they incorporated a new take on the intro for the Alien movie. Oh, Damn. God, it's so, so good. good. Yeah, they brought in all the original actors. Almost all. They couldn't get Ian Holm for Ash, but they tried. Yeah. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. I'm pretty sure that was in-game graphics and not FMV. Yeah, they're supposedly done everything in in engine, but uh... all of this is done in engine. It's beautiful. Oh yes, it is. Even even for 2014, this just looks freaking phenomenal. Definitely not Turok 64 reskinned. <laughs> Let's look around the ship if we get a moment. It's oh, yeah. fun. Explore the torrents. Hey, buddy. Of course, they have to have drinking Drinky birds day. here and there because they were f prominent in the movie Alien. Were they? Awesome. It was there amazing you where you had like all these kinetics objects oh. like that that just keep going almost indefinitely while the crew's in hypersleep. Sorry. Um, the objective reminded me of something stupid. I accidentally, uh, whenever I first, uh, picked this up and played it. That's a game I and stupidly, watch. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I stupidly ran around in my underwear. Oops. There's room for only the <laughs> little of guy. Dressed, I missed the objective. This is amazing, dude. Runs around in underwear. Look freakazoid, at this. Freakazoid. This is, it's so small, yes. yet it's so clear. <laughs> yes. Right? It's beautiful. I know. Everything about it is beautiful. My computer can only dream of running something like this. Oh, my computer can't even dream of running it. Remember when those lights clicked my on and you got can... scared? Last oh my time? god, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Coffee. Just look at that attention to detail. It feels like a proper movie set. Yes, it does. We and take a shower. <laughs> All right. Uh, That's not how you shower. That's not how I actually shower, but. All right. Not enough backflips. Use registration yeah. points. Look down and see your feet. Yes. Wait. Oh, use registration points to save the game. Okay. Oh, these are fun. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. To give a brief explanation, you have to slide your ID card into this thing and then wait for the save option to come up. So if you're under attack or being tracked by something, you're going to have a bad day. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Ooh, that's right. These actually have things in them. Ooh. Maybe they'll stock up on parts early. Hey, check uh, the screens, yeah, dude. Uh, hold on. Let me grab all the parts so I'm not missing anything. For Lang, Connor, Samuels, Ripley, okay, so... Everybody signed in. Oh. Oh, nice. It's all about the ones terminal. over your head in the center console. You know what? Let's see Ooh. about maybe exploring the game lore as we go on terminals and whatnot. Yep. What available, at least. Yeah. For Lane, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that just lost his ship, but he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacore undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear the Wayland yutani pay well. Good luck to you, if you can beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back, Blaine. Hmm. All right. Verlaine, I believe, is the commander to the ship. Or captain, to be more technical. Or captain, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Preview monitor, system monitor one, preview monitor. What the hell was that one, Sean? I don't know. I... I just have to say, I love that they went with, like, old CRT monitors. I, I know! Like, they made everything look according to they what it They went with the old boob tube! Magical. <laughs> well, that's what it's originally called, the boob tube. I know, it was just freaking... Uh, I, I'm immature. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Let's go the wrong way. Yeah. It's always best to go the wrong way first time around. Hey! Check that out. It's the med bay from the Nostromo. Yeah? Huh. Oh, Ripley. Sandy. Yeah. Did you wake Memories up? Memories here. Well, I don't really need here we go. as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes. M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Uh, we have a minor Honestly, issue. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe to fix subtitles. They're not showing. I'll go check on her. Hold on. Options. Uh, yes. Audio. There we go. Got it. Thank you. It's not Paradox Power Plays without some malfunctions. It Indeed. Remember Ash hovering around this console, looking into the microscope. Oh yeah, the med, the med pod. You can activate it. There's some patrols <laughs> over here. Mm-hmm. Everything's even properly labeled. Take a look at the control panel. Yeah. CT scanner, ultrasound, track, laser scan, ICG, anesthesia. Yeah, it's all properly labeled. If only real medical procedures were that freaking easy. So good. Yes. All right. I mean, just visuals alone. We aren't even on Sevastopol yet, and look at that attention to detail everywhere. Yeah, exactly. It's beautiful. MRT-60 microcomputer system, employees manual. Or user manual, oh employees gosh. only. The fact that I can read that. That's detail, yeah. Oh, what is this? Uh, yeah, I can't read that, though. That's a little... small. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> of course. Somebody had to say that. Yeah, eventually it was gonna happen, Taylor. yeah. Good morning. Oh, goody. Ripley Hello, so miss. How are you? Good. I very much doubt it's morning, either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. What? I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. 
I'm sorry. <coughs> it was insensitive. Who cares? Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and... <coughs> it's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Okay. Let me see if... All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Anybody see a fucking problem with this one? Uh, where? It's upside down. It's upside Oop. down. Oop. How the <laughs> Oop. Yep, they're all right side up. Captain, I think we're screwed. Except for that one. Yeah, except for that one. Terminal. <laughs> oh, there it is. <coughs> oh me. goodness. All right, here we go. Reply to the Nostromo incident to N. Taylor. Restormo Incident, Weilu Nutani, file DS-9398476. Hey, Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the uh, dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Weilu Nutani cargo vessel, the U.S. CSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before seven in all, Dallas the captain... Uh, oh, page update. Uh, Ash, the science officer. Kane, or is it Kane? Executive officer. Ripley, the warrant officer. Lambert, the navigation officer. And it's not letting me go up or down. Oh, there we go. Uh, Parker is the chief engineer. Brett is the engineer technician. Uh, Waylon Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Saul. I kind of want to voice act some of these if possible. Uh, I need to. What kind of voices would we give them? Whatever. Just, Torrin... nothing, just nothing too annoying or high pitched. Yeah. yeah. Torrens Manifest. Name F uh, MSV 7760 Torrens. M Class Starship. Captain Verlaine Diane. Navigator Com Officer, Connor William. Owner, hey, Verlaine. In this game. Huh? Never mind. Oh. Owner, Verlaine Diane. Contractor, Wayland Utani. Outbound and return transportation for Wayland Utani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three Wayland Utani employees Samuel C., Ripley A., Taylor N. Passengers, Samuels Christopher, Rip, uh, Samuels, Christopher, Ripley, Amanda, Taylor, Nina. Number of decks, two. Number of crew, two. Interstellar communications antenna, long-haul hypersleep chamber, commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig, retains operational heavy-duty tow umbilical. Oh, hmm. no, whoops, it's Q. Oh, hello. Good to have access to that information. Actually, Pretty much is. anything you see with a blinking green light on it like that probably has goodies. Yep. Probably. Probably. Being offered. If you're lucky, yeah. Uh... And later in the game, death, because you were curious. Gotta well, love this future retro tech. Yeah. I was going to say, Valor, that's, that's sort of a given. All right. And my eyes, I hear your song playing. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, bite me. Hope you all had a rescue <laughs> Here we go. journey. The Torrens Old is time. in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. Let's look around and the and bridge out. this time before grabbing Connor, how the how files. how we doing? RCMG yes. loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing document? You can watch the approach on the monitors. All right. This is only accessible by the commander. You guys should know exactly what this is. Yes. The mother control room. Mm -hmm. Monday. Access to the ship's mainframe. Yep. There's Taylor. There should be some large windows in here somewhere. Yes, there are. Oh, oh yeah, goody. there are. Yay. There are some very Don't big windows documents here. documents just yet. Take a look outside. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that's so freaking gorgeous. They did wonders on this game.
you can hear the old style sound of things loading on computers. Oh, the helmets. Oh my gosh. The helmets? All right, now, where are my documents? Oh, there they are. Hold on, somewhere. Oh, collect briefing file. Here we go. All right, here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. This waits. Colonial Marshal, Sebastopol State, serious situation. Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again? Better call Comcast. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizer. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. attention to detail. You don't feel anything else about the suit. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time that door <sighs> opened on that ship and we saw the saw Sevastopol. I had chills. Yeah. <clears throat> also, uh, something I want to say real quick. The timing, Matthias, is wonderful because just as you blew smoke, Frickin' the smoke mm -hmm. showed up on the screen for That me. was exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, pressurizing the chamber. I was pressurizing it. Lord Vader, arise. Let's change out of this get up. It's also awesome get up, but it really restricts your movement indoors. Yeah, it does. One thing I want to notice, anybody who's seen the first uh, Alien movie may be aware of the soundtrack. It was composed by Jerry Goldsmith, and they used a whole bunch of it for this game. Quite fittingly, I might add. I like how the uh, sound effects during the radio, uh, radio communication thing. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's yeah. do the smart thing. Sound like howling wind. Yeah. Yep, override save data. 
All right, and this time we won't get lost in here like last time. <laughs> no, we won't. But then again, that was our first playthrough last time. The first time I played through this, I was scared out of my fucking wits. I think we all were. Uh, that's how I freaked you out by stirring oh. some hot cocoa. <laughs> Stirring up trouble. Well, Standard procedure around here. Oh, look at that lighting and shadowing. Oh, it's so good, dude. Ooh, don't go in. Way. Don't go in the uh, air duct right off the bat. Well, I've got no choice now, asshole. No, it's just. When I come across this and I looked in there and I saw that thing opening up, I looked at it and went, nope, and walked the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> nope, dot uh, I, like, I love the little hanging lights they put in for this. All the little drop lights, yeah. Yes, the drop lights. They only walk, they only work when they want to. Yeah, but freaking every little detail about the game and every time you God, play through it. That still gives me chills. Yeah, every time you play through it, there's new detail that you notice, and it's just awesome every time. Check this area first, because it's a dead end, it looks like. Okay, there's Ooh, a terminal here. nearby. Yep, Finch. I'm grabbing it right now. Yeah. Access terminal, okay. So shall somebody else read this time? Uh, so the folder is corrupted. All right, it's up to whoever it is. To engineering team, re-decommission. So, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sebastopol Pie now, and I can confirm it's official. Sebastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and new placements. But for now, we would still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waits, Chief. And then the last one is a corrupted file. Yep. Oops. Of course. <laughs> you're pretty good down the hole. <laughs> I'm surprised your fingernails didn't rip off when that happened. Freaking A. God. Hey, I got players. All right. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna say, God, those lens that fucking flares. lens flare right in your eye. I love it. I know. Every detail, I love it so much. We got a luggage sorter. We go. Someone new. You always know working. What does this say? <laughs> Four three seven. Okay. You always know a working Joe. I think. Oh, you always know a working Joe. Okay, yeah. Someone new. Is it 2137 or 437? I guess we'll have to figure that out. That looks like 2137 to me. That's, yeah. Maybe it's code for something? Maybe. Strangers uh, will be sorry? I can't, I can't. Strangers shot. will be shot. shot. Yeah, okay. No, what does it say? No. No mercy. Thank you. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Yeah, probably no mercy. Keep moving. Wee! Don't mind if we do. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Up the ladder? Wasn't there like so, yeah. some items down here somewhere? That's what I'm looking for. This is Dr. Mac Fox of Paradox Power Plays. Thank you for watching. If you think we did well, please give us a like. 
subscribe and click that bell so we can keep power playing. Want to share your thoughts on this video, ask us questions or more? Please leave a comment. Perhaps check out our latest upload or some of our other videos. Hope to see you next time.